And without judging it right or wrong, just accept that I'm reading like this. I'm reading like that. And we are going to do a little breathing practice. We will inhale, pause, and then exhale. So let's just concentrate on the breath. Exhale fully. And then inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, pause. Last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, pause. Relax the breath. And bring your awareness to your third eye. 
between your eyebrows. And try to imagine you breathing through both nostrils to the third eye and exhale from the third eye to both nostrils, through both nostrils out. Then slowly relaxing the breath, we will slowly open the eyes and get up to standing. And release the legs. Arms shake out. Then start with hip circles. The other way, two, three, four, five, six, side to side. Okay, so arm circles now, stretch up first, breathe and stretch, and start one slowly. Two, three, four, five. And the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch up, all the way again, and start again. Forwards, one, two, three, four, five. And backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Release. Release shoulders up and down, arms to the side, open the, uh, the chest. And we do the exhale, round the spine, chin down, and then inhale, open up just slightly. Exhale, inhale, open, exhale. Open three more. Last one. And then release. That's good. Okay. Release your legs and we do uh, ankle circles. So a little uh, um, balancing, whichever leg you want. Circle, nice and slow and feel that you can circle a very big angle without circling the knee than the opposite way. That's why it's better to keep the leg straight so that will keep your knee also stable. Up and down. Toes, wiggle the toes. Shake out, and then the other leg. Circle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up and down. And the toes. and shake out, and shake out the whole body. Yes, like you were dancing a little bit, 
jumping. Good. And then again, wide apart. Now we are going to a little bit uh, warm up the hips. So coming down forward, not too wide apart, just as you feel comfortable. Hands on each other. And we do the rinse windmill. Inhale on one side, exhale on the other side. And then after the third one, change side. And then stay down. If you want, widen your stance. So make it nice and wide and come down as much as you can. Ah, nice. Very good. Come up halfway and then bend the knees and move side to side. That's it, just a little, not too much, just this is to, for the knees, feeling the knees a little bit warming up. That's it. I'm hearing some cracks, <laughs> that's okay. And then as you are here, try to circle your hips. That's it. Opposite, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then heels and toes back together, coming up slowly all the way. Release. Okay, warming up some salutations now. We'll bring you here or here. Yeah, hands to heart center and your Tadasana, making sure your hips are just under the shoulders. So when you look down, the hips are not forward, not backward, just nice and straight body. Hands to heart center, pull your belly in. Not too much, but activate this part, your core, activate it. Just pulling it in a little bit and being aware of it is already good. Inhale, exhale by your head, inhale, lifting up. So we start with a good stretch up, keep stretching. Back bend with an exhale, inhale back, exhale forward folds. Head hanging. Relaxing the neck. Bend your knees. Take your right leg back and the knee down. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips. That's it. Push forward a little bit. Take your left leg. Plank. Squeeze your bums. That's it. Hold with the core, press your hands. Knees, chest and chin down. And then with the next inhale, cobra. And with exhale into child's pose, little rest here. Stretching out. Use this child's pose to Stretch a little bit and feel into the hips and the spine. Good. 
Very good. And then from here, tuck your toes under and push yourself up into down dog. Down dog is with the hands, uh, shoulder width apart, and the feet hip width apart. So that's downward facing dog. Breathe. Again, try to hang your head there, looking at your thighs, looking at, if you can, your belly. And then lift up your right leg and stretch it nice. Right leg to the front, between your hands. Great. Left leg to front, forward folds. Inhaling, stretch up. All the way. Look up to the hands. And with exhale, back bend. Inhale again, back. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, exhale by your head. Inhale, lift up again, stretch up. All the way, you want to reach the ceiling. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, forward again. And exhale, all the way down. Again, just rest here. Trying to rest the head. That's it. Take your left leg back. Looking forward. Take the right back into plank and just hold there. Pushing your heels back. Press your hands down. Pull up the core. Drop your knees down, chest and chin. Not going into cobra straight away, just hold here. Pushing up to cobra, inhale. Exhale down. That's it. And now just rest here. Breathe and rest. Trying to pushing, push the heels downwards and the hips upwards. One more deep breath. Then we will lift the left leg up, stretch it all the way. Yes. And then left leg to front. Right knee down, looking forward. Breathe. Right to front, into forward folds. Inhaling, stretch up all the way and back. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. And then bring your feet, keep a distance. We'll do warrior one and three. So three is where you go on one foot and you look like a letter T. First we start with the bringing the right leg back on the same track as it was hip with distance and lift up your arms, but nicely, softly, if you feel you want to have your hands to your heart center, that's also possible. Also, you can have interlaced fingers and the index fingers out. That's called Kali Mudra. Mudra means hand gesture. 
different ways we put the hands together or the fingers together. Three, two, one, very slowly, you can bring your hands to your heart and come into your left foot, bringing the right arm up, the right leg up. And you can also have the arms to the side into aeroplane if you want. That will make it much easier. Lifting that left, right leg up, looking down, two more breaths. One. And then slowly coming back into the warrior one. <clears throat> and from here, you're going to open your hips to the side into warrior two. So what we do is, let's come into a, a star position and then turn your left foot out. That's much easier. And then bend the left knee. Open chest and arms out. And looking at the left hand, breathing here. Soft breath. Two more. One more. And then turn the left palm up. Inhale first, stretch up, 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 up. Little back bend if you feel you have the space. And keep that left leg bent, active left leg, active right leg, bending back, three, two, one, coming down to side angle pose. First, you can just stretch your arm up, nicely stretching uh, your Diaphragm out from the hips. And then if you feel, you can bring that right arm above your ear, making it nice, big stretch here. Looking up. Conscious breathing. And then slowly back up into warrior. And we have another five breaths in the warrior. Four. Three. Two. One. And then slowly come back. Very good. And up and circle your hips. Right now, the other side. So just standing in front. You okay? Hearing me well? Yeah, okay. Can't see you. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Now we do the other side. So left leg will go back. Right leg bent, doing our warrior one. And arms can go up, or if you want, you can keep them by the heart center, whichever you like. Breathe. So when you try to open up, you try to reach the ceiling with your hands, but try to reach the floor with your hips. So that creates the space between hips and heart. Breathe one more. And then bringing your hands down, coming onto your right leg, 
Lifting the left, arms can go to the side if you fail. And hold, engage the core, breathe. Two more, you can do it. One, and then come back, coming into the star position so that we can do the warrior two nicely. Then turn the right foot out, bend the knee, and coming into warrior two. Check your arms if they are uh, at the same level. Also, the knee should be just above your ankle. Go deep down. Turn the right palm up and then nice with inhale, stretch up. And then a little back, breathe. Two more. One. And then into your side angle. Left arm up. First reaching up to the ceiling. Breathe. And then if you feel, left arm can go above your head. Pushing into the left foot, left fingers. Breathe. And then slowly, slowly from here, we go back to warrior. So we hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one, and release, come back to star, release the arms. And then release the legs, hip circles. Very good. Both ways. Okay, now again back to the uh, star, but now it's triangle time. Triangle time. So left foot turns out again. Don't bend the knee this time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach out with the left arm, coming down to the left and right arm up. Open chest. Try to keep that left leg relatively straight. Little bit bending is okay, but not too much. Breathe. This core is engaged here. Really trying to lift that chest, elongate the spine. Engage your buttocks. Two more breaths here. Bend the left knee to back, up, and release. That's it. Great, and then the other leg. Right foot out, not the hips. Inhale, arms up, exhale, reach out, down and breathe. It's an active pose where you actively try to draw your left hip backwards and try to stretch your left arm upwards. Up, breathe. Right arm down, two, one. Bend the right knee and come back. And close your legs again, release. Hip circles. Or just move any way you like. And now 
uh, three poles. So st uh, standing first, feeling that Tadasana, the mountain pose with both feet. And when you are ready, lift your right leg out to the side. And coming into three. Oh, okay. Arms up if you feel that's comfortable. Away, open out. And down. And then release. Great. I don't like left knee up and out to the side, foot against the thigh, hands to heart first. Arms up. And away. And down. Wait, release, release. Okay, come to the top of the mat again. We'll do some coming down to the floor, hands to heart center. Inhale, exhale by your head. Inhale, lift up gently, exhale forward bend. Step back into plank. And we will hold this pose nice and strong for five breaths. Four, three, engage the buttocks, two, one. Now we drop only the right foot, right knee, and turn the foot outward, and we come up into this um, gate, gate pose, something like that. Open up. That's it. One more. And then come down and then we do the opposite. But first we hold the plank again. Yes, planking is good for you, especially uh, in the morning, building up your strength for the day. Three. Press into the hands. You're not collapsing in the upper back. One more, come on, you can do it. Left knee down, turn the foot out, and then put the right foot also down, right arm up, little rest here. Stretching up. One more breath. We are coming back to plank. Yes, I know. But this time, come down to forearm plank and hold. Four, three, two, one. Knees down, child's pose. Ah, well done. Try to push your hips down and rest your forehead down. So we are coming into puppy pose after this. Coming up onto all fours, stretch your arms forward more, yeah? And then the puppy pose is trying to bring your armpits, your chest down in front, yeah? 
forehead down, relax your arms down, your armpits downwards, and stay here. Two more breaths. And then from here, back into child's pose. So hips again back down, arms also back, forehead down, release. Okay, very good. Coming up onto sitting, lie down on the floor. Catch these, these blocks, lie down. We are going to do some um, core poses. Now, just lifting up the legs 10 times, that's all. So we do this in a particular uh, way. So feet flexed, hands down, really pressing down your lower back. And then lifting up the legs uh, with an inhale, but first we lift the head up. So head inhale and then legs. So that will ensure your lower back is nice and stable. And then with exhale, legs down, and then the head. So we do this nine more. Inhale, head and legs. Legs and head last. Inhale, head and leg. And exhale. Inhale, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one all together, ten, and head down and start cycling your legs. Forward pushing, push forwards. Backwards, still pushing your feet forwards. When you do this, so not like cycling here, do this, but trying to push, straighten your legs forward. Very good, and hug your knees, rock from side to side. Nice one. And then we are going to do uh, another five Tibetans. So one of the five Tibetans with the hands by your side, like this. Obviously, I need the blocks. You don't, because you can put your hands down, the palms flat down, feet hip width distance, shoulders back, sitting up first. Um, so what is the, the pose is that you try to push yourself onto your feet forwards. That's inhale. And when you exhale, pulling your core in and try to come back to the same place. Do this four more times. Inhale. Up, yes. And exhale, pull the belly, sit back to the same place. And do three more. Very good for shoulders, good for the hips, good for the core. When you have done all together five, then relax here, sitting up. Relax and shake out your wrists, your hands. Maybe do a little winks.
stretching your wrist. It was one more time. We are going to do it one more time. So the five rounds, one more time. Inhale up, exhale back. So let's start. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, just carry on. I'm going to watch you. Yes, well done, everyone. Five all together. Try to keep the knees also uh, engaged as you go up. Don't let the knees sway. So when you've done the five, then just sit up, relax, and just lean back a little bit like this. Just relax. <sighs> Very good. Yeah, now you feel strong for the day. I hope so. So now we're coming to forward bend, sitting up, separate your sit bones and then bring the left foot in like this. And then try to bring your core and hips facing the right leg, right foot flexed, left knee left knee bent and foot against the inner thigh sit up inhale arms up stretch up exhale forward and down that's very good as much as you can don't push just come down head down relaxing Okay, slowly come up and then you turn your shoulder, your chest towards the left knee, hand on the left knee, right hand, and left arm above your head coming down sideways. Keep the right foot flexed and you are sideways, down, shoulder, and your right side is coming down on your right thigh. Breathe. Beautiful stretch. Two more. One. Nice one, slowly up. Very good. Now, again, we turn back towards that right leg. But bring his, this foot up, knee up, and the foot over to the other side to do a little twist. So you don't have to bend this right knee if you want, you can. Inhale, uh, elongate the spine, and then start with exhalation, start twisting to the left, left hand down beh behind you, and elongate and twist. Elongate with inhale. Twist with exhale, right foot is flexed, nice and stable, and you are twisting from the back, not from your head. Head is just following. Nicely elongate the spine with each inhale and breathe. Breathe two more. One. Inhale, come back and exhale the opposite. Bend down on the opposite side. Then come up and do the other leg. So a little bit shake out. This time, right foot in. Left foot flexed, you turn towards your left leg, 
Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, straight down. And breathe. Two more. And then with inhale, coming up. Turn towards the right knee. Hand, left hand on the right knee. Right arm above your head, coming down sideways. You are bending open down to your left leg. Sideways bend. Sideways. Sideways. Yeah, that's it. There, yes. Have three more here. Two more. Last one. And with an inhale coming up, lifting that knee. Foot over to the other side. Sit up first, and we will twist to the right. So hug the knee. Let's do it this way. And right arm behind you. And the twist. Flex that left foot and breathe. Two more, one, inhale back to center, exhale down on the left side, and contract, slowly up, release, and we are coming down, forward bend, seated forward bend, but preparation is everything, so Make sure you are sitting nicely grounded with your sit bones. Sit up first, pull the belly. So when you are coming forward and down, it's not just coming down. It's a very active pose. You need to pull the belly and you will feel how much lower you can go when you pull the core in. Yeah. So inhalation, belly out. And exhalation, belly in and coming forward and down. Pull in, pull in, and you will see, you will go much further. And try to elongate the spine here, not round too much. Staying here, another five breaths. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, slowly stretch up. Exhale, hands to heart. Rub your palms, cover your eyes, and then lie down. Well, first, maybe do a little bit screen wipers, just a little. And then when you lie down, just hug your knees. Feel that stretch in the 
spine, the lower back, and lift your legs up. Waterfall. Just stay here for a few breaths. So if you feel you want to uh, lift your hips, you can put something under your hips and then lifting is much easier and it's more beneficial for the back. It's called waterfall. Relax the legs. Relax your feet. Just let it happen, whatever has to happen. Okay, slowly bend the knees and take the block out. If you have one, hug your knees and rock from side to side. And now our final position is Shavasana, as you know. So coming into Shavasana, nice, quiet Shavasana. We are not going to have anything, no talking, no music, just your own breath. Close your eyes and just rest. Shavasana, that man's pose, or we call it corpse pose. So we separate your the legs because that feels more relaxing for the hips. And we also bring the arms away from the body because it's more relaxing for the shoulders. And we also turn the palms upward because it is, there are two reasons for that. One of them is more relaxing for the arms. What can be the other reason? Just relax. You will find out later. Also draw the chin in a little bit. And just observe the rising belly and the falling belly.
one minute remaining. Slowly start moving the fingers and the toes. Your head from side to side. Stretch your body. And then hug your knees. Go down to your right side. And push yourself up. And stop up. Inhale. Shanti, 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 Shanti. Thank you for coming this morning.